<laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Danielle. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish, a good one. Did you make one? Yeah. Okay. Yay. I saw a flying star the other day and I made a wish. It's gonna come did true. You see a flying star really? Yeah, I did. Hey, my beautiful friends out there. I was gonna call you lovelies, but that sounds like, that reads like love lies. So I don't think I'm gonna use that word because I've been studying etymology and breaking down words. It's precious and essential what we say. It's super essential. That being said, I was thinking about relationships and unfortunately one of my friends learned some really mm, not so great stuff about her man or the guy she loved. And it was, it sucked like to find out that he'd been lying and cheating and whatever, but made me think about relationships. I've been the cheater, unfortunately, and I've been cheated on. And the times I was cheated on, I always knew. You always know, right? Unless you're dating a sociopath, which or a psychopath, they can hide things very well, but other than that, you always know. Yeah, I mean, if you trust your heart and trust your gut, you know when it's communicating with you and you just know when people are lying. And that reminds me of another topic, dating an empath. Like people know even when they're not super empathetic, like people, they always, they have a sense that somebody is lying to them or cheating on them. You have a sense, but when you're an empath and you really know and you know their thoughts and you know their feelings and their emotions you know that when they have feelings for somebody else blah. <gasps> mm. being an empath and being in a relationship I don't know if it's possible I for me I don't know I don't want to always know what somebody else is thinking and feeling and unfortunately I do and that's not fair it's not fair to the other person it's definitely not fair to me so I I'd rather not know so, yeah, being an empath and being in a, in a relationship, it's just, mm, it's not always fun to always know what the other person is feeling or thinking. But when you start having sex, when you're having sex with somebody regularly, you really, you share a lot more than just bodily fluids. Um, the, there's bodily, there's energy. Those energies are fierce and shouldn't be taken lightly. We have to know like what energy are we gonna absorb and take on that day and who's gonna deposit their energy on us and and like does that person is that person worthy of your of being in your your auric field, being inside of you? I don't know. Even when you're in love with somebody, like are they bringing positive energy to you? Are they dumping their shit on you? And like when you have sex with somebody, it connects you profoundly. So being empathetic is one thing, but sleeping with them makes you even more Back to my point, sleeping and having sex with somebody connects you in a very deep way and you start to feel their energy and their thoughts and you may not even know it but you are, you're feeling what's going on with them and sometimes it may not be good things. Do you, do you want to feel that? Do you want to have those thoughts? Do you want that energy with you? What are they doing in their spare time? What are they doing to elevate themselves? elevate themselves <laughs> what are they bringing you so I just all right I guess I can go on and on but I'm gonna try to cut it short what are you bringing to the table when you're sleeping with somebody and what are they bringing you and are you purifying yourself to be with that person so you can come to the table with like uh, something amazing create something amazing with that person, that person you're sleeping with. I I don't know how many people are doing that. How many people are purifying themselves so when they sleep with their partner, they're like their best, fullest, most amazing selves, bringing the fullest energy to have that energy exchange. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm.
I'm gonna be celibate. All right, I'll see you guys later. So if you've made it this far, <laughs> then good for you. I don't know. But yes, I have some zits and you know why? I'm, I'm, I'm going backwards in age and so I'm getting younger and I'm hormonal still. So that's what it is. I'm going backwards in my aging. And so are you if you believe it. Okay, have a great night. I love you all. Mm-hmm. <laughs>